slow poker. I have a career and a family, but also play poker, which doesn't leave me much time. So let's get to it. I've got SMS shorthand in the hijack. Raise to 30 over a button straddle and get called by the cutoff, small blind, and straddler. After this flop and two checks, I bet 50 and cut off calls. I shouldn't block the camera with my hands, but especially with kings, I feel like I have to hold on tight. No. This turn shouldn't change anything, so I bet 100 and cut off calls. Still not sure what I'm fading here, but this river looks clean, so I bet 200 and he tank folds pocket eights. I've got 5-4 of clubs, and facing one limp, I'll limp behind with a playable hand on the limpy table, and big blind checks his option. So at least I'll have position. And I gotta say, I've just got a feeling about this flop. And that feeling is... Indifference. Everyone checks though, and this turn upgrades my indifference to cautious optimism. Big blind bets 10, and while under the gun folds, I do some quick math. With 27 in the pot, and facing a bet of 10, my pot odds are 2.7 to 1, meaning I need 27% equity. I've got 4 clean outs, and given the action, probably 8. So mathematically, I have to make this call. And this river upgrades my cautious optimism to... Big blind bets 25, I re-raise to 125, and big blind's perturbed. Oh, I didn't two-pair you. I backdoored you with the second nuts. What did you just say? I told you, these are real poker terms. I backdoored him good. And now, the return of the slow poker miniseries. Okay, okay. I've got ace-king, raise to 20, get three colors, the flop is king high, I bet 40, everyone folds. I've got ace-king, raised to 20, and every single person calls except the small blind and that casino employee holding the deck of cards. It's borderline impossible to win with ace-king six ways, but on this ace-high flop, I bet 40, big blind calls, and on this turn, I bet 100, and he snap folds what I can only assume was 7-4 offsuit. I've got ace-king, and facing two limps, I raise to 30, and both limpers fold. Pre-flop? Four ways? Six ways? I win with ace-king every time? Am I dreaming? Where's my totem? You know what, DJ? Unpause. Tell us about your first ever poker experience. It's actually a funny story. I checked my option. The Jacksonville Jaguars are in town. I raise over a straddle to 30, and the button 3 bets to 100. I call, and on this flop, I check, and button bets 125. I call, and after a brick turn, I check, and he bets 275. I'm probably behind, so much like the 2021 Jaguars and the 2020 Jaguars, and all right, let's face it, the majority of Jaguars, winning will not be a thing that I'll be doing here. Mm. And the button is kind enough to let me know it was a good fold as he flashes pocket pats. Uh-oh, the Jags again. I raise to 20, and the low jack and high jack call. I don't like that queen, but I've got all the pocket aces, kings, and queens in range, so I bet 30, and low jack quickly calls. He could be on a flush draw, but if he's got a queen, I'm in trouble. Is there any hope for these Jacksonville Jaguars? I bet 75, and low jack quickly calls. On a blank river, I bet a buck 75, and he snaps it off. DJ, let's party like it's 1999. Yeah. I've got a pair of Wyoming Shepherds, and after under the gun raises to 15, I 3 bet to 50, and he calls. And this flop is unquittable. <laughs> under the gun checks, and I bet far too much for fear he's got a flush draw, and he folds King Jack. King Jack says he absolutely would have called 50, and I'm kicking myself that I bet for protection instead of value extraction. Okay, let me go ask a bunch of strangers how they would have played a set of cowboys. You got a better idea? Down bet? Maybe third pot? I've got nines, raised to 20, and get three callers. And it's a flop tailor-made for Herman Cain. Under the 999 plan. With only a few exceptions so far this session, the deck has been on team slow poker. Big blind checks, I bet 50, low jack folds, and cut off re-raises to a buck 50. And I may have spoken too soon. The red chip poker people feel my flop bet should have been more like 25, given all the queen jack combos. And I do agree, as I often bet too large to price out the draws. But in this case, if cutoff does have queen jack, I've certainly got outs. So I call. Turn changes nothing, I check, and cutoff bets 375. And now my brain is officially on drugs. This is your brain. This is drugs. This is your brain on drugs. Any questions? In the immortal words of Jeffrey Boski, what's he reppin'? It's a single raised pot, so obviously Queen Jack is out there. And that is my nemesis hand. I've lost more times to Queen Jack offsuit than I care to talk about right now. Pocket kings are out of the question, since he's not a thousand years old. He could have pocket tens, but most people free bet that preflop, and the chances of set over set is 1%. I rule out the free combinations of king nine, since that re-raise is a bit strong for just top and bottom. Could he have king ten? Vlog son overplayed top two. I'm making the vlog son. Maybe this guy's doing likewise, assuming I've got rockets or big slick, and that he outflopped me. And TBH, I wish I had one of those hands here, since it would be far easier to find the fold. Against my better judgment, I engage with the cutoff. Do that Queen Jack? Oh, yeah. better like he had Queen Jack. We show sure if I fold? No. <laughs> I'm very hard to figure out. I'm the best poker player you'll ever meet. Huh? They call me Kid Scout. All the gals. 
Okay, first let's fact check those statements. I actually think that's true. That's definitely true. No, that crown belongs to Kid Stallion. Oh, touche. It's hard to explain why. Maybe it's due to my vast experience with lying poker players. But something about his reply leads me to genuinely believe he doesn't have Queen Jack. And if I run with that assumption, then I'm either up against one of nine combinations of King-10 or one of three combinations of pocket 10s. This guy just sat down, so I have no clue yet if he's the type to overvalue top two. With all this in mind, I call, and on this river, I check, and he bets 400. Nausea notwithstanding, if I'm relying on the math and all my earlier assumptions, I'm ahead here 75% of the time. So I randomize by flipping a four-sided coin in my head, and it comes up fails. So I hold my breath and pray he's got King-10. Call. Good, sir. It doesn't matter how many hands I play, I always struggle to fold a set, and this one really hurts. I don't know, should I have called? You tell me, German Herman. 999? And that'll do it for episode 9 of Slow Poker. Please like, subscribe, comment below. Oh, and check out Kid Stallion on Twitch. He's the best, and it's not just me who thinks that, it's also the gals. Until next time, this has been Slow Poker. You can do it, put your back into it.